so hey everyone and first of all thanks for holy shit the response on the previous video now on popular request here are the stats and the extracurriculars that got me into a top 10 cs program in the us now once again there's literally no way of knowing how did i get in or what part of my application was the real deal these guys i don't know how the f did i get in let's just keep it that way Starting off with the standardized testing, my SAT was a 1480, following which I gave the ACT two times and got a 32 and a 33, which gave me a super score of a 34. Now our schools in India don't have a GPA system, so I submitted my aggregate percentages from class 9th to 12th, which fluctuated in the low 90s for the most part, and I got a 97% in my class 10th ICSE boards of the national finals, whatever you call them. I also gave the TOEFL for my English proficiency requirements in which I got 116. Now for the interesting part, my extracurriculars. Now I changed schools in standard 11th and my old school did not have a lot of support for well, extracurriculars and unfortunately when I changed schools, this happened. World Health Organization just to, to declare this a global health emergency. Hundreds dead, thousands infected across multiple continents. In Wuhan, China, the epicenter of the outbreak. COVID-19. But luckily, I'm a computer science applicant and most of my extracurriculars were personal projects like apps, robots and programs that I did over the time in high school. So the most important project I undertook would be Atulit which is an app I created for children with cognitive disabilities. The app basically gamifies their learning. It presents everything in the curriculum and everything they're required to do in the form of a game. So I basically tap into their interests in well mobile phones and games and try to increase their engagement in learning. I partnered with a special school called Chetna Institute and an occupational therapist to implement this app. I recorded the proficiency of children in undertaking daily tasks using multiple surveys answered by their parents. And then I published these findings in a research paper in the IJHSS. I also worked as an intern for a startup and an IT company with direct involvement in their code bases, developing specific features for them. One of the projects I worked on was an app called Iopine that helped the user record public opinion and conduct surveys. I worked on its front end using Android Studio and Kotlin. I also worked on the flagship app of an edtech startup called OKids Labs, aimed at improving education for kids using project-based learning. You wanna see movie? It's a chocolate muffin. Movie. Good boy. You wanna be a part of this movie? Now one of my biggest extracurriculars have been you guys, this YouTube channel, which I have been running since the 10th grade. Long term projects like these will help show commitment and dedication to a single project. I've been creating educational videos related to science, aerospace, well, colleges and some quirky funny coding videos that just reflect the interests I have at that time. I've created videos related to STEM, aerospace. Just general physics concepts in high school, bots which attend my online classes for me. Yeah, we've been through the ride. Now, fun hobbies and long term projects are always appreciated because they show how quirky and interesting your personality is. Well, that might have not gone in the. Well, fun projects and hobbies like these help reflect your personality very clearly and show them how interesting you are. So don't shy away from including any hobbies you have. Well, in addition, international and national level competitions have a huge impact on your application and increasing your chances in college acceptance. I ranked among the top 10 children from all over India in coding elements, which was a coding competition organized by Planning Commission of India, or as they are now known as Niti Aayog. So all of the projects which you ultimately do, in addition to being interesting, tell a story about you and how you think and perceive the world. If you help your community and bring about a positive impact around you, it helps show that you are just involved with what's happening around you and are aware. And college is like that. Well, if you made it this far, thanks for watching. I'll continue to make videos like these 
um, from college tips, my application to the fun and quirky projects I still love doing, some impactful projects I did last year and this year, and but yeah, stay tuned. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys.